Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Datuk Sri Azalina Othman Said, in informing the status of the draft at the Parliament today, said meetings with representatives from social media platforms, including Asia Internet Coalition, Google, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, have yielded positive response. At the same, a special meeting with experts in cyber crimes, computers and relevant agencies had also been held to obtain feedback and views on the spread of fake news. Among those involved in the committee were the Bar Council, Human Rights Commission of Malaysia, Persatuan Wartawan Melayu Malaysia, Malaysian Muslims Consumers Association and National Press Club Malaysia. Pembentukan RUU ini adalah bertujuan untuk memperuntukkan beberapa kesalahan-kesalahan berhubung dengan penyebaran berita tidak benar dan langkah-langkah bagi mengkengkang berita yang tidak benar. RUU ini digubal dari, dari kepentingan masyarakat umum bagi melindungi rakyat daripada lambakan berita yang tidak benar serta menjadi mangsa kepada berita tidak benar. Datuk Sri Azalina added during the winding up session of the Royal Address by the Yang Diputuan Agung, Despite the introduction of the laws against fake news, the government will not repress freedom of speech as enshrined in the federal constitution. The special committee on the issue on the dissemination of fake news, which was set up in January and made up of representatives from relevant ministries and government agencies, will also be widened to include BN and the opposition MPs, academicians and NGOs to enable various opinions on the matter to be taken into account. This indirectly proved that the government is inclusive in drafting bills.